Hi, this is Anthony, and in this video I'll show you how to use a new timeline in Explandio 3.0. EVC 3.0 beta was released in June 2016, and if you'd like to find out what's new, check this video. So this is the new user interface, and this is the new timeline. When you first open Explandio, you won't see anything on the timeline until you open a new project or create a new one. So let's start by creating a project. I'll name it TL Demo. And then we need to create a scene. First, let's insert a text box. Click Add Text. And then I'll just change the font. I'll resize the text box. And then I'll change the text You will notice that as soon as I added this text box, it created an entry right here on the timeline. So you need to click this little arrow, little black arrow, to essentially drop it down. Here is where you insert or add text animation. So by clicking this little box right here, let's choose a text by letter and uh, I'll go with zoom in bounds and then let me close the canvas and you'll see the animation right here if you click the text element on the timeline you'll see that it animates you'll also notice this gray bar right here and a little slider you can drag the bar across the timeline to essentially indicate where it starts the animation. With the slider you can control the animation duration and speed. Essentially the smaller the slider, the faster the animation. Watch this right here. And if I increase the length of the slider, as you can see it's much slower. You can essentially add one in animation and one out animation for a particular element. So now that I've added one in animation, I can add another out animation here. So let's just say fade out. And also you will notice that there are two sliders now because there are two animations. For now I'm just going to remove this. I'll be creating a separate tutorial to show you how the animation works. But in this tutorial I just want to focus on the timeline. So right up top right here on the timeline you'll see a time ruler. And essentially each marker here is half a second. This marker right here is five seconds. So now let me just open the canvas and add an image. So I'll click the Add Bitmap Image button and I'll use an image from my computer. I'll take this Explain Your Logo I'll click down sketch and then add and I'll just adjust the size and you'll notice as soon as I added this image you will see another entry has been created on the timeline like I showed you earlier I will add another animation and this time I'll just choose the animation presets And I'm going to go with Jump Up, this one right here. So you will notice that by default the new element is placed at the start on the timeline, like so right here. So essentially the two animations will happen simultaneously. Let's just check the preview. So you can click the preview button right up top and you can see they're both happening at the same time. So if I want the image to appear a bit later, what I would do is I would move this, uh, this bar a bit later on. So let's just check the preview. As you can see, the text animates first, and then the image comes in. So that's how you would control the duration and the speed as well as the timing. 
And similarly, if I want to increase the duration of the animation, I would lengthen this slider. So let's check the preview. If I want to pause the animation to the end, I can do that in the Effects tab. I'll just close the canvas. And if I go to the Effects tab, I can essentially assign a few more frames, maybe two seconds or three seconds. And if I preview it, you will notice that once the animation happens, it'll just pause there for those three seconds. So let me just open the canvas. Now this is all in one scene. As you can see, there's only one scene here. I can keep adding more elements on this scene right here or create another scene and follow the same process. So let me just show you quickly. I'm going to add another scene by clicking this button right up top. And it'll again create a blank canvas. This time I'll add a sketch image from within Explainedio. So as soon as I added this sketch image, you will see right up top here that it has created another scene. And if I drop down this box, you will notice that some of the animations, when you add them, it has a default. And this one's got sketch by hand. So what I find easier is to just remove that animation. As you can see right here, there are a whole bunch of little icons and uh, this icon right here essentially locks the uh, the element so you can't move anything and once you unlock it obviously you can drop it down also you will notice that there's an X button there are two X buttons this X button just deletes the whole element itself and this X button right here deletes just the animation and then these two little arrows here allow you to just edit any of the animations. So what I find easier is to just delete that animation, the default animation, and then start from scratch by adding a new animation. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add another animation here. And I'll just say zoom in. So let me close the canvas and we'll see that you know it's applied the zoom in. So now that you've got two scenes here, you can toggle the scenes right here, right up top, by clicking them. And you'll notice that when you click the each scene, you'll bring up the elements for that particular scene. And if I want to delete a particular element or a scene, I would just click, like I showed you earlier, I would just click this little delete button right there and is you'll notice that that whole scene is gone because there was just one element there. The other thing on the timeline you will notice is that you've got this little buttons right up top S, M, L and hide and that essentially allows you to control the size of the timeline. So currently it's in the small timeline so as you can see it's just a small little timeline here. If I click medium you'll see this grows and large obviously it's much larger. At the same time you also know that the, you will notice that the canvas size decreases and if I hide it you will see that the whole timeline disappears and you see more of the canvas. You can also use this little arrow keys here, double arrow head, to, to move this up and down. I find it much easier to use the a small timeline for the uh, laptop screen that I'm using. So that's pretty much it in terms of explaining to you how the timeline works. I will create separate tutorials uh, on how to work with animations for text uh, objects as well as the morph uh, animation and, and um, a whole bunch of other tutorials. I just want to keep these tutorials um, kind of uh, short as possible. But essentially once you've created your scenes and stuff, you would uh, you know save your project or render the project by using these um, icons in the toolbar. But uh, you know hope this video sort of gives you an overview of how to work with the new timeline in EVC.
Well, hope you found this video useful. You will find many more explained your tutorials on my YouTube channel. And if you're looking for any specific tutorial, feel free to request and I will do my best to create it. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.